Hey Glam Dolls and Gents, this is Tanya coming to you from the Glam Queen's Kingdom with part two of my Dollar Tree haul. Look. Ah. Yeah, so anyway, um, as you will know, I did a part one just a little while ago. I told you I was coming back to bring you the second part of the haul, which is for our next family uh, shenanigans uh, fly by night operation, fly by night operation, um, which um, hopefully we will either do by Zoom or in person once this is all lifted, the COVID-19 restrictions. But anyway, I wanted to give you a, haul, um, a, a quick preview just in case you want to run out to your dollar store, Dollar Tree store, or if you have a, a friend or um, coworker or a relative or whoever significant other that will run your errands for you which will you know you can put together a list and just tell them hey get whatever you can get with whatever money i give you um and see what they come back with yeah you won't be sorry but these are some of the supplies that i've wanted and got and was able to get um delivered so anyway here we go okay no um let me clarify that dollar tree does not deliver I had these um, brought to me. So anyway, I wanted to share them with you all. So anyway, let's get started. Um, let's see. I got some. Um, these are, these um, materials are by Crafters Square. Um, and there's this is a 32-piece foam sheets. Assorted colors, easy to cut. Create your own shapes. Ideal for arts and crafts projects. So I'm thinking that these are like the felt material. Um, um, uh, uh, can be used for... Um, shapes, numbers, you know, whatever to add to your scrapbooking or your um, Bible journaling projects, whatever. Okay. Um, and then I was able to get, again, by the same manufacturer, um, these uh, pop dot uh, adhesives. So these are like the squares and then these are the circles, which you can use to um, elevate your uh, ephemera pieces um, off of the pages to make them look like they're kind of like 3D. Yes! So yeah, th these are awesome. Go and get these. These are really nice. Um, and then there's this um, glue and residue eraser, which I need. Um, if you are like me and you have glue kind of hanging out off the sides of your ephemera pieces or after you've put an entry down or whatever, and you actually find um, that you, you feel some of that residue kind of, you can use this eraser to gently erase the glue um, or adhesive from that particular uh, point of entry okay so anyway yeah again this is what it looks like so go and get you one then I have um, they had these felt numbers which were already cut um, or whatever you can see um, I got the color red I wanted blue but for some reason I don't know why I didn't get the blue anyway um, these can these will be used for something I know um, and let me just tell you how many pieces you get in here oh you get 100 pieces for one dollar people go and get them that's a penny a piece I'm telling you okay um then oh the the uh pencil sharpeners i got these particular pencil sharpeners and um i want to say I want to say, oh, there are two pencil sharpeners. So it looks like there's more than one, but really there's only, uh, there are two. They're all connected. The colors are beautiful, and I think they're cute for the price. Um, these three notepads are for my other crafting projects or whatever that are not a part of the shenanigans, family shenanigans series. Um, these will be used in my Bible journaling and um, as well as some um, other note taking uh, projects, probably like doing my Bible study or whatever. I can just kind of um, write on each note. They come in this pink, uh, pink, this green, and then this yellow. And I just love that they're lined and you can just jot down whatever you're thinking and they actually stick. So they'll stick to whatever surface, my Bible, my Bible journaling page, um, in my t uh, traveler's notebook um, entries or whatever. So yeah, got those, a dollar each. And then I got, let's just talk about some of the sprays and glues. This is a multi-purpose spray, um, which is great for products. Ex oh, it's extra strength, acid-free, and it dries clear. So I got this, I was able to get this. Can you believe that, that they actually have this? In the Dollar Tree. That's amazing. 
So um, other than that, I got. Oh, let's just talk about these. Ah, I know I've seen. Now you know this product right here. For all of my crafters out there, tacky glue. You know, in Michaels and all the other chains, um, that these are expensive. Even the small bottle will cost you a few dollars. So go and get this. This is amazing. For my next um, item, I got this um, wood glue. <laughs> it's called Woodwork Glue. And it's this brand, the Crafters Square brand. And it's actually used for high high tack and, is I'm sorry, it's high tack and permanent, meaning it's sticky. Um, and it's uh, sandable and stainable. So you can um, paint over it, color over it or whatever, I hope. That's what it's for. At any rate, we're going to use these in um, some of our um, Sip and Paint uh, Family Shenanigans series projects. So, yeah. And then we've got these um, sponge brush, brush sets. So, we will use these also um, in conjunction with our um, painting uh, kits that we have. So we got several of these just in case people didn't, you know, want to use the paintbrushes that came with the sets. Um, let's see how many you get in here. I'm sorry. In this package, you get five brushes, five of the sponge brushes. So you get this large one here. I don't know if you can see it. But you get this large square here. And then the others are various squares. So I think you get two small ones. And I think you get two medium-sized ones here. So you get the real skinny one. Then you get the medium one, and then you get one great big wide one, which is nice. Especially if you're covering a larger surface. Um, let's talk about the paint kits. Ah! This is, again, the Craft of Square brand. And you get one brush. As you can see, you get the paintbrush. And then you get these um, six three six yeah six um containers of color so you can actually mix and match some of these colors that will give you some other ones i believe like if you mix blue and green blue and yellow i believe you get green or something to that effect or whatever but anyway again i ended up getting i think 15 of these or whatever so that there would be enough to go around and i believe what we're going to do is also get um have uh, my sister get some of the larger paint brushes that come in the packages. I think you get four or five, uh, three, four or five brushes that come in a pack. So that if, if people don't want to have the smaller brushes, which I believe might be used for more detailed work, um, they can actually paint with the larger brushes. So those are the come. But anyway, these are so fun, probably for good for kids because they're small. And the paints, you know, the, the, you get enough paint in there for a project. Look, this is how much paint you get in each container. So that's quite a bit, actually. Um, it's non-toxic. Um, and uh, let's see. Anything else on here I can tell you? Um, not really. But these are these are a deal for, especially like a sip and paint, sip and color um, events that you want to have. Um, oh, let's talk about some of the woodworking. Oh, let me just deal with these bowls. So these bowls are no longer... Um, carried uh supposed to be carried in the dollar store I'm not really sure they don't smell like anything but um the person told me the um store staff told me that these were discontinued and that um they wouldn't be carrying these anymore and i thought to myself these would be perfect for like water bowls in between the paints have them set between uh each individual like every other person have a bowl set so that they can rinse their brushes off and continue painting their projects so anyway i grabbed it um, and then let's talk about some of these wooden, um, things that we're going to actually be painting. <gasps> Look, they actually come in these wooden, these are, um, wooden, um, wood words is what they're called. And let's see if they're by the same company. Um, I don't show them being by the same company, but again, these are wood words. This one says, Hello. Um, ooh, this one says laugh. That'll be fun to paint. Laugh. Ooh, look. Love. What? Look at that. That is so cute. Look. Very cute. So every person will be able to choose whichever one that they want to paint. And we'll go from there. This one says relax. Um, 
There's another one that says, whoo, this one says peace. Look at that. Very nice. Well made. No splinters or anything like that. So, see, I got another one right that says home. Yes. Let's see. Um. Oh, these are cute. They have these little wood hanging decor um, pieces that you can paint. So I got a heart. Oh, let me show you this next one, which is so cute. My sister told me about this one. Oh, look at the little treasure chest. She had an idea that you could actually paint the treasure chest and then put some sort of jewels coming out like to decorate it or whatever. But let me just show you how well made this little box is. It's a wooden box. It's a little trinket box. And as you can see, it has the gold hinges on the back, which just the hardware alone would probably be a dollar. I mean, gosh. But then you've got the hardware on the back. Let me show you. And this hardware actually, it flips up. Oh, do you see that? It actually flips up and opens. Look. Oh, ah. Yes. So I guess what she was saying was paint it, paint the inside as well. Oh, you can put some of the felt tip, um, the felt material on the inside, glue that in, and then um, put some maybe in the bottom and paint the sides or whatever, and put some of the jewelry, you know, the um, the little beads or whatever, the sparkle or whatever that comes out or whatever to make it look like it's a jeweled treasure chest. So anyway, somebody will have that have this as their project. Then we have. Um, I got um, this um, acrylic metallic marker, which is a blue color. I loved it. I thought, I'm not sure actually if I'm going to use that for the crafts or if that's for my own scrapbooking journaling projects. We'll see. Anyway, um, this marker is by uh, Forever in Time. And um, here it is here. You can see it. Yes, I believe they had a red one as well. And I didn't get that one because I was already um, thinking I was, I had, you know, gone over. Anyway, here's a scrap utility knife set by Crafters Square. And again, it has different blades um, in there for cutting your projects or whatever it's with precision. It's for adult use only, not for children. It's not a toy. So you have to be really, really um, careful when opening these and storing them. Make sure that they're stored out of the reach of children. And then we have... <laughs> so, oh, let me do this. So I got these craft <laughs> craft clamps, which are actually um, super sturdy. They're heavy duty. And you get six clamps in the package. Okay, can I just say I love the pink? Don't judge me. Don't judge me. I love the pink. Ah, yes. So anyway, um, these are good for like if you're clamping your, um, say you have a tablecloth on your table or whatever, and you just want to clamp them together to keep the tablecloths from slipping or whatever, which is what we'll probably use if we do this in person um, on the um uh, for the tablecloth to, to be clamped together so that it doesn't slide and the paints and everything will be kept safe and, and no spillage or anything like that. So again, I ended up getting the string. <laughs> this is again by, um, this is called natural jute cord and it's, um, by crafters, uh, square, the company crafters square. And it's just this brown cord or whatever that's used for, I don't know if you saw the, the cord that was used to hang this um, wood on. But anyway, this is the same kind of cord. So it's that wooden straw type cord that kind of, you know, ties through. It's kind of a nice decor element. And then last but not least, I've got some stickers and some stencils to probably go on some of the, um, the art pieces. So I got these love stickers again by crafters square and i got these foam stickers um which have stars hearts circles um green circles and purple looks like purple flowers or clove clovers 
I got several packs of stencils. So I got, um, these are all flexible stencils where they're bendable. So I got the alphabet letters, symbols, a lowercase alphabet stencil and symbols. Another version of the alphabet stickers, but this one has actually the numbers on it. One, the symbols, and all the alphabet. And then I have this one stencil that has um, different words on it. Um, I thought it was really cute if somebody wanted to, you know, put something, maybe mark it on the bottom of their uh, project or whatever. Um, these are also reusable. So once we're done, I'll probably store these somewhere where I can use them in my private crafts or we, uh, you know, I'll save them for the next Family Shenanigans series. So anyway, here's another version of the alphabet and these are all caps. And as you can see, um, I really like this stencil. The, the, le the letters, the sizes of the letters, the size of the letters, and then the symbols here. I like them. I don't know why. This one kind of captured me. So... The next thing, oh, these are the artist canvases. These are, again, by Crafter Square. These are um, um, art canvases. It's one piece in each pack. And I believe the box came with like 20 maybe. And so um, I got some of these because if someone doesn't want to paint one of the wooden um, projects, they can actually paint whatever they want. I'm going to actually see if I can print out some, some examples and we're going to do a contest to see who can paint the images closest to what the image is on the paper and then go from there. They'll probably win a prize of some sort. Um, and then I got, now these stickers here are for my own private craft um, projects. Um, I thought they were so cute and so, so pretty. Um, the metallic, um, they remind me of Tim Holtz's um, uh, projects, um, his stickers. But I love them, you get 13 pieces and just the, the different, oh, they're so cute. Look at the angel wing. Oh, I love the, I just love it. So anyway, I'm going to use those. And then last but not least, I meant to haul this in my other um, uh, haul, the, haul, part one. And I didn't. Um, this actually was somehow in the bottom of the tray. And um, yeah, this is health and beauty. But this is um, Epsom salt foot gel. Um, it's by the company Assured. I'm telling you, I need this. So does my sister. And so we're going to try this and I'm going to let you know how this is. But um, again, this is the um, Epsom salt foot gel um, for um, swollen and um, achy feet. You know, um, it's easy. It's, it's, it says easy application, soothes, cools and comforts. It contains aloe. So, yeah, you get about two ounces or whatever for a dollar. I figure, you know what? It can't hurt to, to try it or whatever. So, last but not least, I ended up getting this cute basket um, because I needed something. I said, no, you whoever gets this for me, I need something to carry my things in. The, 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 uh, the painting, uh, the sipping paint uh, supplies. And so make sure you get me something that's going to be sturdy and that can handle carrying these items or actually having them on hand when we get ready to do it online so anyway i found this beautiful blue little carry um basket so anyway that's the end of my haul and again i just wanted to come to you all and just say hey go to the dollar tree they have bargains and good deals so anyway thank you for watching my video and if you like this content please subscribe to my channel i have a variety of things on my channel from breast cancer um treatments and recovery to family shenanigans series to my travels international travels around the world um and just a lot of different things so it's a, a lot of stuff with a lot of different people so anyway i love you much and thank you again for watching my channel and as always stay safe be blessed and i'll see you all soon bye ah!